could be pine eagle here welcome to or back to my channel um before anybody freaks out at the title of this video anakin is okay uh one very very expensive vet bill later he is doing okay i know a lot of you guys were expecting this next video to be about the equestrian festival invitational and yes yes it is still happening i just needed to film this update video for you guys because oh boy it has been a rough couple of hours it is a bit of a long story and i did not have my camera out i did not think to take my camera out that's just not my priority essentially me and anakin went on a trail ride yesterday we ended up going over a little trench area and anakin ended up slipping one of his hind legs down the trench and he freaked out tried to pull it out and it got snagged on a very sharp rock which ended up completely tearing up his left hind foot. Now, I'm not gonna show you guys right now because it is all wrapped and bandaged, but I will put a picture on the screen in just a second. But disclaimer, blood warning, if you guys do not wanna see that sort of thing, please look away now. So I took this picture when we got back to the FLAC when he was in the wash stall before I had hosed it off or anything. We did end up getting an emergency tra uh, trailer ride back to the FLAC just because he couldn't walk and I didn't wanna put that on him. He was lim limping significantly and I didn't want him to tear up any muscle or tissue or make the cut worse. Thank goodness because the amazing on-call vet was able to come out and take a look at him right away. She actually had to give him five stitches because it was just so deep and so like gaping and it was in a terrible spot. Luckily the vet did say that he was going to make a almost full recovery although he might have some lameness problems in the future. So as of now he is on stall rest getting tended to getting lots and lots of treats and lots of love but yeah I didn't want to make this video too depressing. Um, I just wanted to kind of fill you guys in on the situation don't worry he is perfectly fine he's just having a little bit of an owie he has some pain meds right now because the stitches and everything it, it i can't imagine it feels very great anyway apologies for my all over the place frivolous mind and explaining things it has been a long couple of hours as i said and i have gotten no sleep and it's just been it's 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 been a time. Which brings me on to a very much brighter topic. I guess in this whole fiasco, there was a slight great change of events, if that makes sense. Um, meet Pirate. Guys, this is my brother's horse. He is a 17.1 hand Dutch warm blood. This man, this horse is huge. Like I'm I am standing next to him right now and my gosh, like I don't think I have ever been next to a bigger horse. For those of you who don't know my brother, my brother is Luca Pine Eagle and he has just been so gracious in this situation. He has actually offered to let me borrow Pirate for the show. So today I'm going to be trying him out and seeing if we are a good fit because I won't lie to you, I am a little bit nervous because I have never ridden such a big fancy horse before. Before I add on anything else, I will link Luca's Instagram down below. I 100% very much tell you to go and give him a nice follow and give his account a lot of love. He is like amazing and is a very, very, very talented artist and he's just, he's just really cool. Here's actually some images on the screen Luca has sent me of Pirate and how high this horse jumps and how nice he goes on the bit is outstanding. Like I am, I am so excited to be able to try him out. I just, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I'm, he has so far, he's had amazing great ground manners and he's been really, really respectful of me and hasn't been pushy at all, but we'll see how he is when I get on him. Uh, Luca did warn me that he is is a little bit pushy um, when you get on him and it's just a very forward headstrong spicy horse so we'll see how that goes all right y'all i'm gonna go brush him and tack him up but i will take you guys with me for that
Alright guys, slight problem. It looks like I forgot my English stuff at my house, including my clothes and all of that. So I guess we're gonna be winglishing it today and I'm gonna be riding in my Western clothes. Don't judge, don't judge. We do things very different here on the Quibi Pineagle channel. Do not judge me. I, I could not help this. But yeah, anyway, uh, Pirate is being so good and so calm for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack him up and then I'm gonna go straight to the indoor arena because my instincts are telling me that I should go in the indoor arena and ride him in there instead of the outdoor because it is windy and muggy and just not nice outside today and I Luca Luca's warnings have me a little bit on edge <laughs> saying that he's a little bit spunky so I think it's a it's a good idea and it's a safe bet to go in the arena but yeah I will take you guys with me my hands because he slobbered all over my gloves and I just rinsed them off quickly because yuck. So before I take Pirate to the arena, I'm just patting Anakin down, giving him a lot of love because I'm feeling really bad for my little boy and I can just tell he's feeling so jealous. He is giving me the side eye and looking at me like I'm betraying him. So I decided to give him a lot of love, just patted him down, gave him lots of cuddles, and then it was time for me to give him his pain medication in his grain. And I had to hide it in the grain because he's been a little shit to actually get it. So here's me kind of giving him that before I go and I get pirate. Alright guys, so here we are in the indoor arena. Uh, Pirate's being really good. He's being really calm. So I'm kind of at ease now. We'll see how he is. I will make a little montage thing, give some commentary, do a little voiceover of, uh, you know, me riding him. I don't want to do any helmet cam because I forgot my helmet cam at my house. <laughs> Again, it's been a long couple days. Leave me alone. I have forgotten countless things at my house, including my English attire, so bear with me. So far, everything seems to be going quite smoothly. He's being pretty calm. As you can see behind me, I'm not even holding on to the reins. He's just kind of chilling behind me. Uh, he is a little bit like antsy, but other than that, he's been decently calm coming into the arena. He's not too flighty. I did like show him some of the more scary things in the arena like the there's like this thing and it's by the bleachers and it it looks it's scary uh, he thought it was scary but anyway um i am going to take you guys with me uh wish me luck pray i don't die and i will talk to you guys later There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out 
Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down but I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes For quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days To get away To see you again See you again Been fighting ways To get away To see you again See you again video i know i said i would do some commentary but it is really late and i'm really tired and i really need to just go to bed <laughs> so um for those wondering my brother luca was videotaping the whole time he was the one getting all of those amazing angles he was literally like kneeling down in the dirt <laughs> i guess that's just his photography like jeans in him i don't know Either way, yes, Luca was with me the whole time just to make sure I didn't die. I forgot to mention that before I got on Pirate, um, but he did absolutely amazing. Like, despite the fact that he reared up like a couple times, which I completely forgot to get on video because, you know, 
Luca put the camera down right as he reared up, which is just just typical. We we always lo we love that in the equestrian world. But yeah, before I make my final decision, I am gonna ride him a little bit more, maybe like three or four more times just to make sure because despite loving to ride him, let me tell you, he is a very strong horse. He's a very forward horse. He's like, I'm used to riding forward horses, but Anakin is not that forward, let me tell you. And he's just so fancy and huge. <laughs> like I felt like I was the king of the world. It was very, it was pretty, it was a really cool experience. It was just a little bit terrifying when he reared up. But yeah, no, totally go and give Luca and his socials a lot of love. It was very gracious of him to let me borrow a pirate for this time because I was really depressed knowing that Anakin um, hurt his leg. And I'm glad that he's going to be doing better, but I was just so relieved when he gave me a text and was like, hey, do you want to ride pirate in the equestrian festival? But yeah, I'm, I'm really, really, really happy. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more RRP content or more RRP videos in the future. I really enjoyed making this. I love making RRP videos. It is like one of my passions right now. So let me know if you guys want to see a vlog for the Inquestrian Venture Festival Invitational and I will strive to make that happen if I end up taking Pirate. Big if. Um, I have to discuss it more with Luca and make sure that he's on board with it. He should, he, he said he's on board with it. I just have to double check and and make sure that me, myself, I'm on board with it because I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!